Uh, regular meeting for Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. Uh, we also have a public hearing embedded in this meeting. I'd like to begin the meeting. Uh, by the way, this meeting will be recorded and it is currently being broadcast on Channel 79 and will be available on the website shortly. Um, John, would you lead us in the pledge? <laughs> So I would like now a motion. Uh, there was an item that meant to be on the agenda but didn't make it. Uh, but I'd like to have that item added, which is uh, a contract for uh, between the Town of Weston Police Commission and Police Chief Ed Henyon. Can I have a motion to add that agenda item to the meeting? And we, we're going to add it uh, probably after item four. I move to add the following item to t tonight's agenda discussion decision to authorize the first selectman to sign an employment agreement between the Town of West and Police Commission and Police Chief Edwin Henyon. Could I have a second, please? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so the agenda item is added. We're not doing it now. We'll do it after we uh, deal with the public hearing. So, uh, do we have the sign up sheet for the public hearing? Yep. Uh, okay. 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 Has everybody signed in that wants to speak? Harvey? Harvey just wants to sign. <laughs> so following precedent we're going to give each uh, citizen three minutes to speak if when you stand up uh do we have a microphone uh it's not needed you can just, just go over there and speak to everybody <laughs> um, <laughs> and i think marcy is the first person and yep. so while harvey's filling that out if marcy wants to come and speak and try and keep the three minutes please absolutely so, I'm um, Marcy Ruffin. We moved here eight years ago. We absolutely love Weston. Um, we did get to utilize the schools that kids from college when we moved here, but we know they're wonderful. And we're just we're so proud to be part of Weston the town. I was on the school board for 12 years in New York, so I understand your commitment and really appreciate what you do for our town. We love the public works, how you maintain the town. Um, my real question is, though, for the transfer station no problem with the fees. I'm really concerned about you cutting the days that that you're talking about cutting. Um, I go during the week because some of the events it's really crowded. And even during the week, there's carding trucks that you know you have to wait like 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm just curious, like, what are you going to do if you're cutting the time about the carding trucks, about the lines? Like, what, what will happen? And also, like, can you explain, like, how much of, of an operating budget you are in deficit? So, so, well, first of all, this is a public hearing for the fees, not for, for the hours, but. Um, it looked like this year we'd be at an, at an operating deficit of about 140,000. That's going to go up to about 220,000 in the next two years. So that is a significant number for the Western budget. Um, we have not yet settled on the specific days that we're going to be open or not, but there will be several days during the week it's open, as well as one day in the weekend. And those, those days during the week will most likely be pretty full days. So for, for two, two out of the days, um, they will be open and uh, certainly all day Saturday. Have you increased the fees for the carding That happens as we negotiate contracts on, on, a, on a regular basis. Is that annually? Uh, Every, uh, our, uh, we have a three-year contract. Three it expires in June of 2020. So we will be negotiating fees. But we do know that there is, and again, I'm going into this because in the sake of public interest, but really we're just hearing from the public. Um, we do have a contract not only with the hauling companies that drop off, but the hauling company that takes it away. And they also deal with our recycling. Up till just recently, we were getting $85 a ton for recycling. No, sorry. We are getting $15 a ton for recycling. The next contract's gonna be, we pay them $85 for recycling. So the, the whole business is inverting. It's not just <coughs> us, it's everywhere. And this, you know, was, obviously an attempt with with the increased fees and some reduction in, in hours to try and find a way to keep it going so we can continue to provide it so right now we're still in negotiations with the unions about the specific hours 
and, and employee uh, impacts, and you know that will be announced soon. Okay, when you as you negotiate, will you keep in mind that you know when a car and truck is there, it does take 10 or 15 minutes for them to unload, and if the days are shorter, they'll be more along the lines. And it's yes, we are aware. Thank you, Harvey. Thank well, you. Because I'm Harvey Bell, uh, Maple Street, Weston. Um, keep it up as many days as possible. I want to talk about two sort of ancillary issues. Issue number one is the size of trucks. That's not. <laughs> that was, okay, but, because this is, if you're going to negotiate with these guys, this really needs to go into it. I share a driveway with another house that had renters in there. And the renters have these garbage trucks with three axles coming. They wreck my entire truck. Okay. The question. So small trucks, um, and the other is the um, the idea of trucks not parking on our streets, garbage trucks, to go into people's houses. So what I'll tell you, Harvey, is as part of this process, we uh, took a look at the ordinance, and the ordinance itself needs to be, be revamped. So we're going to be doing that probably in fallish. We're gonna look, and, and we will take yes, all those things into account because yeah. th there are, we will be setting out terms and expectations for the haulers too. Yeah, and because they're heavy trucks, it's not just when a driveway gets wrecked, they wreck our roads. Right, so at the time we do that ordinance to specifically define usage of the transfer hours, um, whether every truck, every hauling company's license, things like that, we'll have a discussion about that and there'll be ample time at that point also for your input. And the other thing is because you're going to get on the contract, and I'm sure a lot of other towns are as well, band together, making an offer they can't refuse, bringing competition. We've been talking to other towns. Good, good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else? Margaret. Margaret. Yes, uh, I wasn't planning on speaking, actually. Um, Can you say, by the way, say your name and what you're I was about to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't laugh. So. <laughs> Margaret Wurtenberg, Wilson Road. Okay. And I'm speaking to your question. And I follow up as following the legislation. Actually, a bill just passed in the House. To support us. To, no, no, to, no, no. This has to do with the task force having to do with the business about the recycling costs. It's all. If it was <coughs> any Weston, they could care less. So really, I could go. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, so Margaret brings up a good point. There are some bills flowing to the legislature now to attempt to basically support municipalities because this is happening. Again, it's not us. You can look. It's in, it was in the New York Times a couple months ago. I mean, it's, it's, it's that serious. Um, that said, you know, any relief we can get, and we have been talking to other towns, we have been talking to our legislators. Um, we know it's an issue. We don't want to inconvenience the town, but on the other hand, we can't continue to. to uh, incur that full burden if, if it's not being used and we can't cover the cost. Anyone else? Okay, so hearing that, can I have a motion to close the public hearing? I'm, I move to close the public hearing. Second. We didn't move to open it. <laughs> <laughs> I move to open and then close the public hearing. <laughs> right. Square that circle. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, so now uh, discussion, decision to approve the. Uh, thank you, everyone who thank spoke you out, for please. Thank you for coming and speaking. Um, vote on that motion. Oh, can I have a vote, please? Aye. Aye. There's your second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now agenda item four discussion, decision to approve new transfer station ski, fee schedule. Um, that schedule has been posted for a while on our town website. We also yes. posted it in the Norwalk Hour, I believe. Yeah. Yes, we have. So and we, on we, Facebook. And, and on Facebook and everywhere else. And the media has covered it. So um, now I guess we, well, we can discuss it if you have any further discussion on it. Not me. Any discussion? I, I, it's, I don't. Okay. <laughs> well, then may I have a motion, please? Yes. I move to adopt the following transfer station fee schedule effective July 1st, 2019, 8.333 cents per pound for household waste weight at the transfer station, and $2.50 per sticker for trash bags up to 30 gallons in size containing household waste, 
with discounted pricing of $1.25 per sticker for residents qualifying under the Town of Weston's tax relief for the elderly program and 83 cents per sticker for residents qualifying under the State of Connecticut's elderly homeowners tax program. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. And now we're gonna uh, have a brief, well, a discussion about uh, signing the contract. It's a three-year renew. It is, it, if you want this to- This is a three-year contract, but he's been, the other contract was two years? Or that's you... correct. He uh, had a two-year contract. That's right. This is proposed for three. So you want to just give us the- Yeah. Um, so all the only changes, um, the salary um, goes up. Um, if he had signed a five-year contract, he would have received the same salary increase that he was getting under this proposed deal. It's just we have a- for his grade and step that he is in as police chief, it's just the next step up. And it is the time he would get it if he had signed a five-year contract. So that's on page two. On page three, his vacation is increased from two weeks a year to three weeks a year. And he can carry it over if he doesn't use it into the next fiscal year. Um, there's a provision in section three. If the chief is physically or mentally unable, um, uh, if a doctor determines if the chief is physically or mentally unable to perform his duties, then that's um, grounds for end severing the relationship. Um, so that's new. Um, and I believe those are the only changes. Yeah. So this the contract substantially similar to uh, I guess. to non-union contracts, yeah. which are substantially similar to our I think our town hall yep. bargaining unit, and well, actually almost all of our contracts have very parallel forms now. So yeah. we've been it's, making effort to have it, uh, all of our agreements with all employees in town sort of follow the same basic structure. Yeah, he's a non-union employee, so overwhelmingly he gets the non-union standard benefit and, and i don't have to mention he's done an amazing job since he's been yeah, here and we'd love sure to have him so yes. it's, i mean it's, it's been very amazing so uh that said you know any thoughts you know i'm just grateful he's going to be here another three years yeah and i'd just like to echo that i think chief has been doing a fantastic job and uh seen a lot more visibility uh from Absolutely. the cops and, and uh uh, you know. Overtime is way, way, way down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And my, my sense is that morale is, is very high amongst the force. Mm -hmm. It's so. been a pleasure to work with him. He's, uh, <coughs> he's just done an excellent job. So with that, could I have a motion? Oh, it's my turn. I move to authorize the first selectman to sign an employment agreement between the Town of Weston Police Commission and Police Chief Edwin Henry. Second it. Uh, any discussion? No, just thank you, Chief. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries unanimously. Now we have a proclamation. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's coming up or do you all want to come up for? Everybody should come up. Come on. Everybody. Uh -huh.
provider for volunteers, whether career or volunteer, members of emergency medical services engage in thousands of hours of specialized training and continuing education to enhance their life-saving skills. And whereas Americans benefit daily from the knowledge and skills of these highly trained individuals, and whereas injury pre prevention and appropriate use of EMS systems will help reduce national health care costs, and whereas it is appropriate to recognize the value and the accomplishment of our Western Volunteer EMS, the town's emergency medical service provider, during National Emergency Medical Services Week. Now, therefore, I, Chris Spalding, in recognition of this event, do hereby proclaim the week of May 19th through 25th, 2019, as Emergency Medical Services Week. Now, <laughs> decision to allow pollinator pathway lemonade stands on town property. Um, who do we have from the pollinator pathway? I don't think anyone's here. We don't have, okay, so anyway. Um, I have the letter. Yeah. So, so basically the pollinator pathway folks, why don't you summarize since you have the letter. Why don't I read the letter? That's even better. <laughs> okay, here is a letter from Sarah Hutchinson. Um, about the pollinator pathway <coughs> summer awareness events and they're going to be creating lemonade stands and the letter states <clears throat> we would be grateful and delighted if the town of Weston would support us as we continue to spread awareness and raise funds towards creating more signage slash native native plantings here in town Newman's own has generously offered to donate lemonade for our stands we would also offer fresh fruit and we would have pollinator signs for sale. We would like to hold lemonade stands at the following events. June 7th, Weston Against Cancer event at Lachat Town Farm. June 9th, Lachat Town Farm opening day. Friday, farmer's markets throughout the summer at Lachat Farm. And one Besegli Pond event. And they still have to discuss the date <laughs> with Parks and Rec. We are grateful for the support received from Town Hall and look forward to continuing along the pollinator path with you all. So, I guess most of those events are shot. Do we have, do we even have, we're, we're going to approve it, but did we have to? We, we did what it is Angel what is that exactly But having the Board of Slackman do this, um, with the other group that Al's so Angels. I, so I figured we'll just bring Yeah, no, no, I, think it's good. I, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. So we did this for Al's Angels, which is an out of town charity event, but, um, you know, you do, you cannot sell well, just, anything anywhere yeah. around town without sort of, they can usually go to the police and get yeah. permission. And it's or, a, is it worded as selling or a donation? Maybe that's we can get around it that way. It doesn't matter because we can just authorize it anyway. Yeah. But, and tell um, them that, like, as far as the shot is, they have to say suggested damage. Right. So, um. <laughs> no commercial. <laughs> no commercial. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I move to approve the request made by the pollinator pathway supporters to set up lemonade stands on town property in accordance with the proposed schedule. Could I have a second? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's the pollen. <laughs> second. You sure you want this? You want to support that? <laughs> The pollinator suppression <laughs> squad. <laughs> Any discussion? No. no. Again, thank you for all your work you're doing. I, I mean, I, I, I have built up 
pollinator plants on my property to try and, although I'm technically not on the official pathway, but they can take a little detour. Yeah. Uh, I think it's critical. I mean, you know, we're losing our bees, we lose our bees, we lose our plants, we lose our plants, we lose food, and then we're in a bit of trouble. So I think it's game over. Game over. <laughs> I know this is an important issue for you too, so. Um, we have the motion. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you again. Okay, now discussion decision regarding the resignation of Dan Frank from the Commission uh, for Children and Youth Effective May 13th, 2019. Uh, thank you, Dan, for your service. All those I, in favor? I, mean, I move, move to accept <laughs> the resignation <laughs> of Dan Frank from the Commission for Children and Youth Effective May 13th, 2019. I have a second. Second. All, uh, any discussion? Just thank you for your service. I believe he moved out of town. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Following that uh, discussion, it's going to be a very, very brief opening because right now we have a discussion decision to appoint Hillary Messiano, did I pronounce that? Hillary Messiano. To the Commission for Children and Youth. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. So tell us why you're interested. Um, well, about uh, the commission. Um, we moved here two years ago, and we love Weston too, just like this woman said. Um, I have been, for the last five or, five or six years, I've been um, training uh, to teach kids mindfulness, and um, I've been learning a lot about development in the brain, and I love working with kids. I don't have, I'm not at the age where I want to go back to school to become a, uh, get a degree and be an educator, but I love um, the opportunity to affect the lives of children in a positive way. And I have reached a point now that we're settled in here that I want to start giving back and um, getting involved in any way I can. So this came up with Sarah and it sounded like something that was really in my wheelhouse, so I step up and... Yeah, I'm thrilled when I hear mindfulness because I think it's something that... Uh, I know the schools now have this big move to sort of teach sort of mindfulness and emotional intelligence and resiliency training and all that, but I think we need to reinforce that. I mean, I think the town has a role, too, that we can help not just educate the kids, but also educate the parents about what that means and, and how to help them practice it. Yeah, so I, I was thrilled with your background in that space when I saw it. So Thanks. thank you for coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I have the same reaction as, as Chris. Uh, I think uh, your mindfulness, interest in mindfulness would be a huge asset to the town and to the, the, the board. And given the amount of anxiety <laughs> all around here, uh, you know, it, it, it is, it, it is really important that we also reinforce it through the town, but through the parents, and um, having experienced myself with an anxious tween, mm -hmm. it's really important. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you step forward with a diverse background. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, and looking at this made me want to like, oh, I want to go sit down and talk with her. You know, so, of course, so, so, so later, you know, um, uh, but I think it's really needed and um, it, it could, it's a real asset to the group on the committee. I'm excited to get involved in whatever way possible. And you, you and the chair are going to get along great. Right? Who is the chair? Chair of Oh, yes, you know what, I met her because I sell at the farm at La Shot and we have shared, you know, boundaries. Yeah, shot. So. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, she's good. No, she's great. Yeah, she's, she's fabulous. And I, I saw Laura last night at the screening and spoke with her a little bit. And she said that the commission is ready to start doing. So I'm ready to. Yeah, no, no I mean, they're great people. I'm sorry to have lost uh, Dan, but we had a three minute gap in <laughs> membership. So yeah. thank you for stepping in to fill in because I, I consider that it, I actually served on that previously. Oh, really? So, You'll end up here soon, probably. Oh, yeah. that's, okay. that's, that's the usual pathway. Um, no, but again, I'm thrilled at the level of engagement we have with people in town. Just every board and commission, we're just filling up, and you know, it's fantastic. You, and everybody's qualified, so we're not like, oh, you can sit on there just because it's empty right. space. So, um, thank you. Have a motion? Yeah. 
I move to appoint Hillary Messiano to the Commission for Children and Youth for a term to end June 30th, 2021. Second. Second. Uh, only discussion is Randy will get you, you give you, there's a Freedom of Information pamphlet that you want to read because basically everything we do belongs to everyone. So anytime you have a conversation with your peers, if it's more than, in your group's case, more than four of you or four or more of you, that's an effectively a meeting. So be, you just br brush up on that and also you'll get a town email because you're going to want to have all communications from that board occur on that email so that if someone does what's called a Freedom of Information request, they don't have to go into your personal email. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're doing it with every new board, I mean, every new board member, right. committee member, commission member. So reach out to Randy um, and she'll you'll set you up. will be in touch. I'll be yeah. I'm around the corner. No, it'll be H. Not my time. It'll be H. <laughs> uh, Missiano at WestonCP.com. You guys are doing a fabulous job with the name, by the way. I really applaud you because people really master it. So, all in favor? All right. Motion carries now. Okay, we mastered the name. Yeah. There you go, making progress. Um, now we are going to have an executive session to discuss collective bargaining and discuss pending litigation concerning property assessments and to discuss a potential purchase of real estate. Um, we're not inviting, Jonathan's coming in, but we're not inviting anyone else, right? Yeah, maybe okay. it's best if- We're gonna go out. Yeah. What? So we'll you need to make a motion to so can we have a motion to have? So moved. Second. Uh, all is in the discussion. Yes. What we got? What? It's
just kind of talk to Resh. The rest should be quick. Yeah. Randy, do we know how many signatures? They're certified, it doesn't matter who met the threshold. We have to do this one. We have to do number 10 first. Yes. You there? Good. Okay. Uh, so thank you everybody for waiting. Now we're going on to agenda item 10 from the original agenda, which is discussion, decision to ratify collective bargaining agreement with Town Hall Employees Union. Uh, can I have any discussion? No. Very good. Uh, can I have a motion, please? I move to ratify a collective bargaining agreement with the Town Hall Employees Union for the duration of July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2021, as presented. Could I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Just thank you for all the work, Jonathan. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now, uh, discussion decision to establish a special town meeting on Thursday, June 6th, 2019 at 7 p.m. in Town Hall Meeting Room for the purpose of discussing the following question to be placed on the machine ballot. Shall a position town clerk change from an elected office to an appointed office? Uh, we have gone through several versions of, of, of moving this forward. We decided to go with the more, most conservative path, which was to go with a petition of 5% of uh, electors being the criteria to trigger a machine ballot and a special town meeting. Uh, they reached that threshold. I think we, Randy, you're telling me yeah. around 360. We need about 320 something, right? Yeah, the, the town clerk circulated a petition and she was, she uh, obtained, she submitted it to the registrars, they double checked all the um, signatures and it's been certified. So per charter, that it was must, actually, six, it must, six section It GNH. must go to a machine ballot at this point. So okay. um, we're just authorizing that, actually we're compelled to do that. So, yeah. so this is just a motion to do so. So congratulations to the town clerks. Uh, monumental job of getting signatures. Mm. I, I voted for it. I voted. You voted you already? Uh-oh. No, 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 she signed <laughs> her petition. I, oh. Not only did I sign her petition, but I dragged my husband out of the car and made him come back and sign it. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, so can I have a motion? I move to establish a special town meeting on Thursday, June 6, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the town hall meeting room for the purpose of discussing the following question to be placed on a machine ballot. Shall the position of town clerk change from an elected office to an appointed office? Second. Any discussion? Good job again, town clerks and assistant. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. So a corollary to that is that we actually have to schedule the date for the machine vote because it's not a hand vote and it can't be done then. So I guess theoretically it could have been done then. No, doesn't matter whether it could have been done then. It's we decide to schedule. To. Um, so basically there's, there's, I think it's 10, no, five days it has to be noticed. Yep. So this gives plenty of time from the time of the special town meeting uh, where we're going to hear from people uh, and they're theoretically going to move forward to have a machine vote, which is called for by the actual petition. So can I have a motion to that effect? I move to schedule a machine ballot vote on Thursday, June 13th, 2019, from noon to 8 p.m. in the town hall meeting room. For purpose of voting yes or no on the following question, shall the position of town clerk change from an elected office to an appointed office? Can I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Right. Sending you meeting invites right now, so we remember to come in at 7. Okay, and we will post this on the town website. Yes, including myself. Um, post on town website, and do we we have to post again in Norwalk Hour? Uh, yes, we do have to post it again. They will, these will both be this. Both will be advertised ASAP in the Norwalk Hour. Okay, great. And we have to get you guys to actually sign. So I'll be pestering you to sign something that goes on the sign post, saying there's a special town meeting. And the sign post is actually, if you would want to know. As soon as you leave the front steps to the left in this glass case that's up against the wall. That's a great throwback. A signpost. Mm -hmm. It's the term in the statute. It's not it's a, a pin board, but that's okay. Um, we used to put it up outside Peter's. Oh, that would that'd make sense. That would be cool, too. Um, or a hologram. So I'll be bothering you to come in, um, unfortunately, to sign something. You would like to sign. Property tax refunds, whose turn is it? I think it may be Sam. What's going on? What's the deal? It's got a family night at the robot. That's the night of the family night at the robot. 
Hardly anyone's going to come. No, it's okay. There's no, voting. there's no voting. Oh, there's no voting. There's no voting. There's no voting. We're just having a special town yeah. meeting okay. to discuss it. If okay. anybody comes. So I'll be there at seven thirty. Okay. Uh, item thirteen: approval of property tax refund. Samantha, take it away. I move to approve property tax, ref tax refunds totaling $5,100.73 as presented. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approval of minutes uh, for not oh, just May 9th. Oh, wait. You have May 9th in the uh, motion and May 8th that's okay. in the minutes. Which one is it? That's okay. Uh, whatever's in the, the real deal, May 8th. <coughs> It was the ninth. Yeah. Um, and the minutes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Choking on sawdust from that room. <laughs> um, the minutes say ninth. So we're okay. good, right? And it was on the like, Thursday. I'm, May 9th. Yeah, yeah, so we're good. Ninth. <laughs> I move to approve the unapproved minutes of the May 9th, 2019 Board of Selectmen's meeting as presented. Second. Can I yes, you know what? Thank you. Okay, I we need a motion last to... night to ask the other night okay. to ask you that question. And that's what I. Yes, we need. We need. Okay, so yes. let's take a, a step you. back here. Uh, well, no, let's finish this, and we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask for a motion to add an agenda item, and then we're gonna add the agenda item. So. Um, um, all in favor. All in so, favor. I. Okay. <laughs> motion carries. Okay, so now I need a motion to appoint. Um, we need a moderator and a parliamentarian, or just a moderator? Just a moderator. Okay. Sure. Do we name a specific moderator? Yeah, I think Barbara Reynolds is the next up. Yeah, all right. It was. Use enough? I originally started with Woody and Barbara. I have Woody and Barbara. Perhaps you can say. Perhaps you can say. Move to appoint Woody, and if he is unable to do so, no. Woody did. Woody just did DATBM. Oh, so then we could do Barbara. Barbara. How about we move to appoint sure the next person on the list? And the if they're unavailable, depends. the next person. Is it, but is it the person who's because Barbara hasn't been the moderator ever. However, she was the parliamentarian. But Yuznov has been a moderator. We went through, it's, it's a weird machination. It's not, there's no next person on the list. Because hmm. you, you count the person who served on something or the person who served as the head of the something. That's way. So, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, no, so let's do Barbara, and if she's busy, then we'll. Do Yuznov. Yeah. So Bob, you <laughs> can I have a second? <laughs> Wait, uh, so, sorry, second. So. <laughs> Any so discussion? Barbara, <laughs> No. And if not, Woody. And if I think that was the motion. Why were you using not? Yeah. And then Woody. And who's <laughs> that order? Oh, Susan Ma. Yeah. <laughs> if not, Susan Ma. And then Susan. We got to figure out, we got to come up with a good rotation strategy. I, in the other towns I worked in, the selectmen never did it. You would just. You just they do the list, it. Because right? you appoint them like at one point in time, right? Second? Like just like all the other board members. Okay, any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So we'll, we'll come up with a strategy yeah. for that. Okay. Ask we, Randy, can you ask them to put together a rotation? A rotation. I think you could even, if you could yeah, even I mean, just take a look at the charter. I think you can reasonably them. read right, the charter to even assume Barbara. that you, you don't have to appoint anything. every time. You just appoint once, and then after that, you just choose, right? Or, I, mean, I don't know. We'll Say these are the folks, and then this is the rotation, and whoever's next up. The I charter says you must adjourn. appoint. <laughs> so we'll, it doesn't say you have to appoint each time. Second. Any discussion? Uh, uh, all in favor? Aye. Uh, Is this adjourned? Motion adjourned. adjourned. Yes. Okay. Now, if you want to continue. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Right? Did you move to the butcher? Yes. We moved. Uh, Stefan moved. Samantha seconded. Eight forty-six.